So today we're going to talk about dairy and your menstrual cycle. So this doesn't pertain to men, unless you want to share it with your wife or your girlfriend, but just not both at the same time. So that was my dry sense of humor. That was a joke. So what is the relationship between dairy and your menstrual cycle? Well, it, ha it comes down to this one hormone, estrogen, okay? Many people already have too much estrogen, and we are swimming in a sea of estrogen. A lot of pesticides, insecticides, actually mimic estrogen. They're called endocrine disruptors or estrogen disruptors. So if we have too much estrogen, and then we're consuming a product that is meant for a growing calf, which has additional hormones, it can sometimes create some issues, okay? Not just with your menstrual cycle, but with the breast tissue, uterus, and the ovary, and the prostate. So if you're noticing that you're having problems with hormones, you may want to avoid dairy for a while just to see if that's the culprit. Dairy has some other issues. Uh, many people are lactose intolerant. They don't have the enzyme to break down the milk sugar, so they get a lot of digestive issues. They may have a casein allergy, and that can also create digestive issues. A lot of people have a problem with the protein in casein is called A1 in certain cows, unless you find the one that's an A2, but that's more difficult. You may want to try cheese from either a goat or a sheep, and you'll get less of this A1 protein. And then you also have the what they feed cows, okay? Grains, unless it's grass-fed 100%. The grains, as in soy and corn, are usually GMO unless it's organic. So if you're consuming milk products from a cow that's not organic, chances are it has glyphosate residues, um, a lot more omega-6 fatty acids, it's more inflammatory. Now, another interesting point is the source of where you get the milk. So if you go in the farmer's market, you want to find out how they treat that cow. Let me just give you an example with the country Mongolia. An average amount of milk that they get from the cow per day is only 1.3 gallons. In the U.S., it's 9 gallons. Now, in Mongolia, they milk the cow for 5 to 6 months, okay? And in the U.S., they milk the cow for 10 months. And they use artificial insemination. As compared to Mongolia, they naturally get pregnant. And the amount of estrogen in milk from Mongolia is a fraction of that in the milk from the U.S. And realize this, my goal with these videos is not to keep telling you what you can't eat. It's just to bring up your awareness on certain areas that you may need to look at if you're having a problem with the menstrual cycle or the ovary or the breast tissue or the uterus tissue. So if you're going to go for cheese, go for the goat cheese or the sheep cheese. Or, better yet, the best option would be to move to Mongolia. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.